Not a Hero is a fast-paced 2D side-scrolling shooter from developer Roll7, who brought us last year's thumbstick-breaking title Oli Oli. But forget about any radical shredding, this is all about ridiculous shooting. Switching out boards for bullets and grinding for guns sounds like an awesome evolution for the developer. But even from the start, it is hard to avoid comparing Not A Hero to the growing number of games out there that share so many similar mechanics and design choices. Something that, at first, I was rather skeptical of. Use me and abuse me. Shotgun problem solver. Starting with the story, in Not A Hero, you play as one of nine anti-heroes hired by a giant purple rabbit known as Bunny Lord, who's travelled back in time and needs you to help him campaign as mayor to help save the world from total annihilation. Outrageous premise full of ridiculous dialogue? Check. This is done by shooting your way through a total of 21 multi-leveled high-rise stages, each filled with gun-toting goons ripe for the blasting and explosive power-ups to blast them with. Retro look and feel? Check and check. And as you complete each stage and their optional objectives, including time limits, the people's floppy friend. collectibles, or just wiping out all the enemies, you'll unlock the full cast of non-heroes, each with their own zany personality, unique weapon, and added skill set. Extra objectives, unlocks, satirical characters, check, check, and check. We've seen all this before in titles like Super Time Force, The Showdown Effect, Hotline Miami, and Broforce, the last two of which actually share the same publisher with Not A Hero, Devolver, who've made a name for themselves supporting this particular genre of neon nostalgic arcade blaster. So what does Not A Hero bring to the table that hasn't already been done to death? Well, the good news is it's actually the game's core mechanic of cover-based shooting which is the real star here. In addition to your side-scrolling movement, players can perform a lengthy slide before snapping to cover and becoming invulnerable from enemy fire. And being a two-dimensional game, you won't actually have to worry about finding any physical cover to hide behind. Which means you'll have more time to focus on avoiding enemy fire and maintaining your health and ammo, which are infinite and regenerative respectively. This mechanic encourages you to hastily rush forward and react accordingly. It's not exactly the safest technique, but I think that's kind of the point. Enemies will also flank and rush you, especially when you're in cover, so you're always motivated to push onwards. <laughs> to add to the chaos, there's also different bullet types to pick up. Secondary weapons like grenades, oh. turrets, and even a kitty bomb. Oh. No ammo. Oh. Also, the always appreciated hero slide can knock your enemies flat for a moment, leaving them open for a quick and pixelatedly bloodily gruesome takedown. Individually, these moves are responsive, they're useful, and they're actually really fun to pull off, feeling very much like the violent sibling to Oli Oli. And just like its predecessor, it's when you begin to chain these moves together in succession that things in the game go from bland to ballistic. It's in these moments that Not A Hero feels different enough to warrant mastering, but at the same time still strangely familiar and approachable. And while each of the playable characters you can select are humorous enough in their own right, this helps don't lie, you know. Hello, you! Highlighted with some great animation and voice acting, it's the game's writing, particularly the character of Bunny Lord and his long-winded briefings, that fall completely flat. Well, I'll never walk again. They interrupt and slow the whole pace of the game, they're not particularly funny, and they're trying just so hard to be off-the-wall wacky that it can come off as being a bit obnoxious. And to be honest, it almost put me off the rest of the game. The best advice I can give is probably just to skip these and fly straight into the next level with your adrenaline still buzzing. Especially since you'll often be returning anyway to previous stages with your pick of anti-hero to complete some challenges that you may have missed, so the story is never really that important from the beginning. Okay, time to hit it! 
Essentially, Not A Hero is a game all about momentum, and not just as a gameplay mechanic, but also as a state of mind as you progress through it. It did take me a little longer than expected to find my groove, including getting past all those irritatingly wacky speed bumps, but I was glad I did because by the time I reached the end, I was flying around the screen like a whirlwind of pixelated death, an experience everyone should try at least once. I'm giving it three out of five stars. You die. You must. Oh, 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 oh,